Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and we are back with more Caves of Cud today, continuing our Esper playthrough, and we we're looking at our main character, Grieve. He is our squishy little Esper, and as you can see, we're standing in the midst of the salt dunes right now. I've been trying to do some power leveling, coming out here where it's nice and open and flat, and there's some... I don't want to say relatively easy enemies, but with our abilities, the mental powers we have, such as Sunder Mine and Lays, it is pretty easy because we got nothing but space to stand and shoot. So, like I said, a little bit of power leveling, trying to get him up to level 20 just makes it so much more easy to survive. Well, that's probably not entirely true, but uh, hopefully it will be. I want to kind of keep this guy around as long as possible. Obviously, that's probably the goal everybody sets out with when they play Caves of Cud, but I do want to try and uh, you know undertake some of the questing that I've never gotten to and stuff, so maybe a squishy little Esper isn't the best character to do that with, but like I say, I'm just going to get a little over prepared. Ah, here we go. You can see one of my favorite targets, the Isakari Raiders. We are also looking for Dawn Gliders. They provide a lot more XP than these guys do, so that's going to be a big deal. But regardless, guys, I think we'll do something a little different today. Like I said, try and power level. So we're going to do a bit of time lapse here. I'm just going to continue to search the salt dunes, take out the Raiders, and you know, scavenge whatever weird artifacts they have on them. But if anything, you know, really interesting pops up, of course, I'll bring you guys right back and we'll talk about it and stuff but for now just enjoy some of the time lapse footage guys i hope you like this let me know what you think of this down in the comment section and let's get started
Would you take a look at that? Oh my god, the unstable genome finally came through. We've got a free power after hitting level 16. So with the books and the secrets we traded in, that was good. Obviously, we got a ways to go before 20, but I think we'll, we'll end the time-lapse portion of the show today, so don't worry about that. But again, let me know what you think of that down in the comments if you enjoyed it, if you didn't. But this is really, really tough choice here between precog and beguiling i love beguiling it's a great one i mean i've had my own character kill or my own ally kill me before but um i also recognize that precog is pretty much essential especially as we start to go forward into the more difficult areas so yeah i've got to take that okay so if you're unfamiliar it's kind of like a I don't want to say a save feature in the game, but you set your precog. All right, let's go through the level up here real quick. Yeah, so you would set your precog at a point here. In fact, we should probably move it up the list so it's within the first bar. All right, boom, boom, boom. Replace, yeah. Um, I'm going to need sprint on the first bar too. Okay, so now precog is in the sixth position. So we would set it like right here. 250 cooldown and at some point i'm not sure if it's 250 but yeah at some point it will pop up and say do you want to use precog so essentially we're in the future right now and if we want we can come back to this point if we want to do something risky and we get you know into a bad situation we can come back to wherever our precog so it's like a little save point that you can come back to but it's temporary all right, anyway, so that's enough for my poor description of precognition. Obviously, it was we use it. Go, yep, see, it now it's saying you're it's about to run out. You'd like to return to the start of your vision. I'm going to say no because it was just a test run. But if we had gotten to a sticky situation now, we could restore back to that earlier spot. Oh, there we go, just like it did. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, so that's pretty much it for the precog. Oh, look, I discovered a little secret there. All right, I don't know why I'm exploring this area, but we do need to get back out into the salt dunes. So unfortunately, too, at some point I grew that stupid mumble mouth on my back, which is actually kind of cool because it's telling me secrets and stuff. But it knocked off my backpack, which just absolutely crushed my carrying capacity. So, oh, it was terrible. Really, really terrible. But anyway, like I said, we will end the time lapse today, but I'm not going to make you sit through me just going through the salt dunes. Of course, unless, you know, I do find something extremely interesting or if we decide to go below i might get a little bored and want to try and do like a, a ruin or a historical site run see if we can't find a uh, epic piece of loot that that sounds appealing for sure but yeah for right now let me go a little bit longer here and of course on my next level we will come right back oh you know what we've got four mutation points screw it real quick let's go ahead and buy another mutation Teleport out the clairvoyance. Yes. I want that one. Oh, we're being watched. Oh, we got clairvoyance. Man, my, my hot bar is running out of space here. Dang it. So where do I put... Precog, Envision, Disabled. What? Oh. Oh, never mind. Um, clairvoyance is now up front. Time violation. Ah, well, I'll work on this. I gotta set up how I like my bar and stuff, but I won't make you guys sit through that part either. As I said, though, we are gonna try and power level to 20, so let me go on a little marathon. Well, this is interesting. I just found the boomstick of the otherworldly buggy. It was literally just laying on the ground out here in a, a ruins that we discovered. Man, oh man. It's weird though, and it actually provides me with the mental mutation teleportation. There it is. Grants you teleportation at level two. If you already know it, its levels increase by two. Interesting. It is, I don't know, it's pretty decent. I don't know if it's a musket or what, but I don't think I'm going to be trading my bow for it. Let's see, can't we compare the two? Yeah, let's see. It's definitely more power the powerful than the bow, I believe. It's got less penetration, but overall a lot more damage. Huh. 
I wonder what it's... Oops, let's go ahead and equip it. Let's just see if we have to reload it. Oh, yeah, we got the activated ability to teleport now. That's cool. Uh, shoot, it replaced another ability on my hotbar. I just got that figured out. All right, let's shoot. Oh, that's... Wrong button. We'll shoot at the wall right here in front of me. Okay. I mean, it's just a regular rifle. Feels like it. Okay, we'll, we'll keep this on us. I mean, it gives me teleportation, and at some point, if I do actually pick up the teleportation ability, that would be very handy. Let's see, can we read about this power? Let's see, I've got a bunch of skill points. I need to use them, but I'm just putting it off for now. Teleportation, random location within a designated area. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's probably something I would pick up. I'm looking for another offensive ability, though. Starting to get a little heavy on my defensive stuff, but either way, let's get out of this historic site with my new, brand new weapon, the looted rifle. Although the electro bow, electro bow is pretty awesome, too, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Oh, it's pretty dark out here. Time to wait, though. G till morning, and there we go. Sun's coming up again. Beautiful. And we continue on. It's uh, actually pretty fun. I mean, there's a lot of blank screens, but I enjoy this kind of thing. Just doing some farming, essentially. Because this game makes it really cool, too. Because you occasionally come across some weird stuff, like that gun, for instance. Just laying out there in the middle of the salt dunes. Here we go. We just discovered some ruins. And I, you know what, I think that the next set of downward staircase I find, especially if it's at a ruin or a historical site, we are going to go below. Actually test out some of these powers that we've been finding. Oh good, I got a chrome revolver. You know what, I kind of actually want to mark that now as scrap. Yeah, treat these as scrap. Beautiful, and we'll disassemble it. Alright, keep going. Very good. Ah, shoot. I don't think there's any downward stairs at this location. But, like I said, first set we find, we're actually going to go below and see if we can't get some really good loot today. Well, I came across the lair of a legendary Scorpilock. <laughs> so, instead of going for the loot, we're going to go for hopefully what is a big experience kill. But, I'm going to put my clairvoyance to use down here. This makes, oh wow, I need to upgrade this for sure. Yeah, but this makes our, what's it called, Sundermine so much more deadly. And of course, just simply because now if I happen to spot this legendary Scorpilock from across the uh, compound, I'll be able to just take him out with no fuss. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. Um, uh, I don't know, this might be more challenging than it looks. These Gershling... They say they're trivial, but, I mean, if I still get engaged in melee, it takes me, my lays is getting less and less effective. Yeah, I might actually have to switch over to just the Electro Bowl, or maybe this rifle will be helpful. This is where not putting any points into agility, strength, or toughness really is starting to come back to bite me here. <laughs> I think if I design a new Esper in the future, I won't neglect those three stats completely. But either way, it's just a, it's a process here. You gotta play it very cowardly. Alright, let's go through. What do we got here? Spider. These Electrofuges too, they're also marked as trivial, but they're, um, they can deliver some serious shock. All right, let's get a torch going. Put that. I need to see. Oh, he's still up. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, crap. Uh, force bubble. All right. Run away. Actually, while they're while that's up, let's go ahead and just take these two out. Okay. Boom. Let me fall back to the stairs. And, oh, oh, oh. What is that? Oh, that's him. Dang it, he sniffed me out. I was get look loved by arachnids, hated by dogs for ruining the festival of Oot Yara Ooks. How dare he? Alright, we are going to 
Um, my force bubble's still on cooldown, so let's switch our tabs. I'm going to sprint to the staircase. Go up, up, up. And let's move to this tile. Oh, Christ, it's dark outside. All right, I'm going to just chill here. This is very dangerous. Damn it, he's all over me, isn't he? Luckily, he doesn't seem to have any kind of ranged attack. All right, all right. Um, we got him. We can do this. Okay, hold on. Switch back. Wrong one, wrong one. Okay, there we go. Force bubble, go. And we will sunder his brain. Nope, three rounds. All right, one, two, three. Now we will sunder. Luckily, a scorpion, it's not very big, but they do have little tiny brains, and we can sunder. I should have gotten a little distance. Ah, we did it, we did it. Despised by arachnids, thank God. Dogs like us a little bit better now, though. Oh, and we just sprayed blood everywhere. How much XP was that? 70? Oh, that's a letdown right there. Dang it. Well, regardless, let's not give up on his lair just yet. Maybe there's some booty down here to take over. Well, there didn't turn out to be too much loot at that Scorpilox lair, so I just left after exploring it and killing a few more insects. But I came to this site. I believe this is an historic site. And there's only one way down below ground. It is a pit, too. So I'm actually thinking we're going to try something maybe a little bit stupid here. But what we're going to do is inject the rubber gum. There it is. So this should make us uh, resistant to fall damage. It essentially makes us bouncy. I'm going to apply it. Okay, skin shrivels and dimples. Let's see. How do we look at the active effects? So, uh, electric resistance, cold resist, our AV is reduced, five saves to being restrained, increases bleeding chance, only suffers 50% from bludgeoning and 50% from falling, can't be grabbed. So, I'm thinking this might be the best way to do this. Hey, we fell down a deep shaft. Did we get hurt? No, I didn't take any damage. I don't honestly know if that if going down those shafts will hurt us normally, but I mean, now at this point, we don't have any way out except our recoiler. So I've, I did make sure we do have a battery ready to go. Oh, snap. We got some dawn gliders down here. Oh, crap. His attack interrupted my sunder mind. Wow. Oh boy, I don't have anywhere safe to go. There's no stairs to retreat to, so I just gotta meditate right here in the middle of the area. Whew, alright, so what is this guy? Easy, oh, he's just a raider. Oh, this was kind of risky. If I find, like, an impossible enemy, it might be the end of things, because, of course, you can't use your recoiler whenever there's an enemy, you know, nearby, but... Uh, I probably should have used Precog before I fell in that hole. I didn't think about it, but I'm going to try and start using that more often. Alright, let's just keep going. Ooh, what is that thing? There's this one. Oh, that's... I believe that's a stationary enemy, right? Oh, it's spitting at me. Oh, there's a lot of them, too. Whew. All right, we're going to fall back to this spot and just meditate till I get my laze charges. Sundermind is definitely more powerful, but laze is still an effective attack down here. Nice. Of course, it does ruin any type of consumable or food product we might get from the enemies. Just turns them all into ashes, essentially. Which is one of the big reasons I haven't even bothered with cooking yet, but... Oh, speaking of cooking, I should probably eat... I just uh, want to get this first level investigated. Don't see a set of staircase, no. Nope. So we're just going to have to move throughout this underground area by the sides of the screen, but that's okay. Hopefully, eventually, we'll come to more staircases leading downward. Oh my god, dang it. I was down here just fighting a random dawn glider, and there's 
Oh. I don't know how it killed me, though. My force bubble's literally still up. Oh, maybe I was take two damage from fire started by the dog glider. Oh, crap. I think it killed me with persistent fire burning. Damn it. Oh, we were doing so well. Uh, this area down here wasn't too challenging. There was no loot or anything, but just some dawn gliders and stuff. And the thing with these dawn gliders is if they're out of sight, man, they're going to hit you before you see them. That's what did it. He set me on fire and I thought I had time, but I didn't even look at my health. I guess his first blast did it. Damn it. Uh, I thought the silt was out here safe for my little baby Esper. Well, like I said, I do have plans on doing more. Of course, we're definitely going to be doing more Caves of Cud. I might switch it up and go with a True Kin next, but I'm going to do rotation. We'll do Chimera, True Kin, Esper runs, maybe even just like a regular old mutant who has both. You know, that's actually something I almost never do is try just a generalized mutant. Could be helpful. You know, one thing I'd really wish I had was digging claws. There are several places I wish I could have dug through during this run, but... Either way, guys, that is how it is in Caves of Cud. If you're unfamiliar, dying is very common in this roguelike game. Just as much as it is in many others, if not more so. But thank you for joining me on this little journey. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and the series itself. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, we'll be bringing you more Caves of Cud. But anyway, guys, I will see you on the next one. Hey everyone, I just want to give a personal thank you to my Patreon supporters. Their contributions help make my work possible and I am tremendously grateful to them. I'd also like to extend an invitation to you to help support my work on Patreon as well. Your donations allow me to upgrade my PC and avoid the dreaded hardware despair. It also gives me more time to devote to new projects and create longer content such as live streaming. No matter what what you decide. Thank you for visiting my channel.